is wet. Can you say wet? Wet. This is the symbol for wet. Wet. The sign I'm going to do for wet looks like this. Wet. Wet. Can you think of a sign for wet? Brilliant. Well done. Now we're going to flap the word wet. Ready? Done. So we have clap the word. Clap the word. Here we go. Who I say the word, say the word wet. Who I clap the word, clap the word wet. Who I act the word, act the word wet. Who I shout the word, shout the word wet. Who I whisper the word, whisper the word wet. Good job. Well done. I concept cat. Concept cat is a clever, clever cat. He looks here, he looks there, learning as he goes. Meow. And when he comes home, he tells us a story. Concept cat is a clever, clever cat. <laughs> Today's story is all about wet. Listen out for the word wet. One day, Concept Cat is out walking his dog. It starts to rain. Concept Cat gets wet. Woo! It rains some more. The dog gets wet too. They splash in the puddles. Whoa, splash. When they get home, Dad says, You look very wet. Your hat is wet. Your coat is wet. Your socks are wet. And your boots are wet. You will need to go and get some clothes that are not wet. Concept Cat takes off his wet clothes. He takes off his wet coat. He takes off his wet hat. He takes off his wet boots. And he takes off his wet socks. Concept on clothes that are not wet. Cat, what a clever, clever cat. He knows all about wet. When you're at nursery or at home, you could find a basin of water and you could put your hands into the basin of water. <gasps> now my fingers are wet. <laughs> if I dry them on the towel, they are not wet. The towel, if I put it in the water, 
is wet. This is a wet towel. This is not wet. This is wet. <laughs> Maybe when you're having a bath or a shower, you could talk about the things that are wet and not wet. And when you play in the water tree at nursery, when you put objects in, they are not wet. And when you go in the water, they are wet. Have lots of fun. Bye-bye.